today I'm going to be doing a little interior work on old Merv here. Now I'm trying to keep this thing within character, try to keep it look like it's just an old beat up S10. Now the only thing I'm doing right now to the interior is getting rid of the old rubber mat because it's old, worn out, the insulation reeks and well it's probably held water for a little bit and I guarantee you there is probably quite a bit of surface rust under there because I've looked, I've seen the surface rust, beat around on it and didn't feel any weak spots so hopefully everything is just surface and I can clean it up, spray some coating on it and then put an undercoating on top of it to prevent anything from happening again and then later on down the road I can get me a new rubber mat to stick down on it or if I can find a carpet cheap enough and go that route. But I don't want to clean it up too much and make it look like, you know, like it's out of character. So let's just get to it. check all that with screwdriver nothing went through so it's obviously surface rust cleaned it up the best I could use a wire brush all that good stuff so got most of it out I'm just gonna paint this real quick and let it dry and hopefully this works good enough to let that undercoating actually adhere and dry on top of this in here now it's not bolted down it's just sitting here until I get another rubber mat the floors are coated it's pretty well dry it looks all right it's not perfect by any means and it won't pass for a show vehicle at all or quality restoration but that's not what I'm going for at all on this build otherwise I'd have to change the whole outside appearance and not doing that that's gonna take away from the character I'm going for on this truck now the rubber mat I think it'll look good in here after I thought about it so I had to get a new one because that old one it was just the vinyl rubber whatever you want to call it it was just tearing so it wasn't good anyway then get a new one of those and then almost complete the interior I think about going ahead and removing the heater box because it is pretty well damaged on this side I can see it 
got big holes in it, so it ain't no good anyway. Now, if I put heat in it later, I don't know yet. Thinking about it, but I'm also thinking about not putting heat in it at all. Just basically put the bare minimum to make this thing run, make it light, make it move. And, of course, I got plenty of other things to do to this truck in the meantime. So stick around, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, thanks for watching.